Good morning all. Welcome you all to a new session of the chapter sets. In the earlier session of this chapter, we already discussed two different methods to represent a set, which are the first one is roster form and second one is set builder form. Today, we are going to discuss a new type of representation of sets. We use this method when we want to represent number of sets at the same time. Using an example, we have to learn the concept. Consider the sets. A is equal to set 2, 3, 5. B is equal to set 1, 4, 6. C is equal to set 1, 5. And the universal set U is equal to set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We want to represent all these four sets using a diagram. For that, first set is A. We draw a circle and let us name it as A and write 2, 3, 5, these three numbers inside the circle. 2, 3, 5. The point represent, this represent a single number, single element. Two itself. This is not point two, but two, two, three, five are the three numbers or three elements in the set A. And the second set is set one for six. Let us draw another circle to represent B and write the numbers inside the circle one, four, and six. And the third set is set one five. Set set C includes 1 and 5 but 1 is already in B 5 is already in A so draw the circle C just like this in a such a way that that circle cover 1 and 5 okay then the name of this circle or this set is C now we represented A B and C using three circles now we want to represent the universal set U in order to identify U is the universal set, we draw that set using a rectangle. Since a universal set is the superset of all the set under consideration, we want to draw U in such a way that that cover all the three sets or all the three circles like this. Hence, this rectangle U represents the universal set. This figure says that u is the universal set and a b c are subset of u but one problem is there that is u includes 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 but i have written here 1 2 3 4 5 6 there is no 7 in universal set now so let us write that 7 outside of a b and c anywhere but inside u like this Okay, we can write 7 here or here or anywhere inside you but outside of A, B and C. This figure represents these four sets uh, in a very easy way. The first man who introduced this concept was an English mathematician and his name is John Venn. John Venn introduced this concept of representation of sets. That is why we call this diagram as Venn diagram. Venn diagram. Okay. In Venn diagram, universal set is represented using a rectangle and is subsets using circles. And is subsets using circles. Okay. Then what is a Venn diagram? Venn diagram is the pictorial representation of sets. That is representation of sets using pictures. Now let us complete the uh, flowchart. Representation of set. First method is roster form. Second one is set builder form. And third method is what? Third method is? Yes, Venn diagram. We use Venn diagram when we want to represent more than one set. Clear? Now let us write in, uh, in your notebook. Write the heading Venn diagram. What is a Venn diagram? 
the pictorial representation of sets are called Venn diagram. In Venn diagram, universal set is represented using rectangle and uh, its subsets by using circles. Clear? Now let us have some examples. First example is this one. Represent the following sets using Venn diagram. We, we have already done this example in the previous slide. So, draw the circle A at first. Elements in A are 2, 3, 5. And draw the circle B. It include 1, 4, 6. And draw the circle C. The elements in C are 1 and 5. So, draw the circle here like this. And the universal set is re represented by a rectangle that cover all the subsets. And the name of the set is U and 7. We want to write 7 inside the universal set and outside these sets like this. Then this represents, this is the Venn diagram of all these sets. Okay. Now, if you find any difficulty to draw the circle, then you can draw ellipse also to represent subset. Okay. You can draw ellipse also to represent the subset. And there is no need to change the color. I have changed the color just to uh, understand you easily. Okay. Now, second question. Represent the following sets using Venn diagram. First, let us draw the circle A. And the elements in A are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then draw the circle B. B include 4, 6. But 4 and 6 are already here. Here B is a subset of A. 4 and 6 are already present in A. So, draw B in such a way that they cover 4 and 6 and inside A like this. Now, B is a subset of A. And then draw universal set using a rectangle. And name of the universal set is U. And U includes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here there is only 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, write the remaining outside A like 1, 3, 5, then 7 and 9. Then this represent, this, this, this is the Venn diagram to represent all these three sets. Clear? Okay. If you find any difficulty to draw circle, okay, you can draw uh, A and B like this using ellipse also. Okay. You can use this symbol also to, to draw the subsets. Clear? Now, third example. Do yourself. This is the third example. A is equal to 4, 6, 8, 10. B is equal to 4, 6, 7. C is equal to set 9, 10. And U is equal to 1, 2, up to 10. Draw yourself. Pause the video and draw the Venn diagram yourself. Okay? Finished? Did you draw like this? This is the correct answer. Here, A is there. 4, 6 are common to A and B. So, draw B like this. 10 is common to A and C. So, draw C like this. 1, 3, 5 are in U, but it is neither in A nor in B nor in C. So, write 1, 3, 5 outside these three, three sets, but inside U. Okay. And fourth question is, for the example is this one, represent A subset of U, B, use in Venn diagram. Here, A is a subset, B is the superset. So, I draw A at first. And how can we draw B? B is a superset of A. So, when you draw B, you want to cover A completely. Therefore, draw B like this. And uh, when we draw a Venn diagram, we must draw uh, the universal set using a rectangle. Now, this represents A subset of B. This is the Venn diagram to represent A subset of B. Clear? Now, today's class is over. So far, we have discussed seven things. So, let us have a review. The seventh point that we have discussed is Venn diagram. Sixth point is intervals. Fifth point is subsets, power set and superset. And uh, fourth point is type of set. Third point is standard set, natural numbers, whole numbers, etc. And second point is representation of sets, Russell form and set builder form. And the first point is definition of set and uh, it's a symbol, uh, etc. Okay. This is the uh, 
first part of the chapter sets in the next class we we will go to the second part that is operations of set so one request is that try to learn in time don't try to don't try, uh, try to delay uh, your studying that will be very difficult okay have a nice day thank you for watching